Hey guys, it's Gio. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, today we are going to open a sealed Flareon tin, as well as a vintage first edition Gym Heroes booster pack. So both of these items came from my personal collection. Uh, the Gym Heroes booster pack is unweighed, so there is a chance that it could have a hollow in it. I'm hoping so. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here is the Flareon tin. Um, this was released in the last couple months, uh, most recently with Evolving Skies. Um, I believe there's three tins total for this, um, which as you can see has Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon as the featured Pokemon here. Uh, and these tins do come with four packs. So we'll see what we can do. Um, just as a little preview, this is the first edition Gym Challenge booster pack that I referenced as well. Uh, this pack is 100% authentic and it is unweighed, so there is a chance it could contain a hollow. We'll find out later in this video. All right, so let's get into this Flareon tin here. Let's see what we have. Up. Okay. They definitely make the uh, plastic wrap on these a little bit difficult, which is probably a good thing. Alright, looks like we have a Flareon promo card there in the front. Um, nice looking Flareon V. like the centering is a little off left to right, but other than that, pretty good. All right, there's a code card for anybody that would like it. And as far as the packs go in this tin, looks like we have one Evolving Skies, one Chilling Rain, one Battle Styles, and one Sword and Shield. So let's go ahead and start with the Sword and Shield base set pack, and we'll see what's in this. Okay. And the card trick on Sword and Shield should be four cards. Oh, there's the code card. I didn't mean to show that, so hopefully that doesn't reveal too much. Okay. Got a Metal Energy. Heat More. Energy Retrieval. Switch. Minchino. Rhyhorn. Flip Bug. Pinkurchin. Pronouncing that correctly. Sobble. Reverse Hollow is Chinchino. That's a rare. And a Hollow Oranguru. Very cool. Centering looks pretty good on that as well. All right, well, that was a pretty good start. Good to see at least we got a Hollow in that one. Uh, next up, we'll go ahead and do battle styles and see what's in there. Try not to give away the code card this time. Okay, four cards. Got a lightning energy. Scroll of Scorn. Bruxish. I think I may see something in the back here. Buffalant. Cherubi. Mientu. Silicobra. Galarian Mr. Fine. 
bell sprout. Reverse hollow rare. So that's two for two on the reverse hollow rares. And a Mimikyu V. Very nice. And the centering looks okay. A little off left to right, but not bad. Well, we're two for two on the hollows so far, so I can't complain about that. Hopefully that trend continues as we get into uh, chilling rain and evolving skies. Okay, let's see. There's the code card. Four cards. And we have another metal energy. Expedition Uniform, Old Cemetery, Raboot, Marie, Rockruff, Swirlix, Lapras, Deerling, Reverse Hollow is Melanie, looks like this is just an uncommon this time, and the rare is... Oh, we have a Banette. Looks like it's just a regular rare here. Very cool looking card though. And the back looks pretty gray too. All right. Well, last pack for this tin, Evolving Skies. Personally, one of my favorite sets of Sword and Shield. Uh, really one of my favorite sets in a long time, actually. Uh, mainly because of the ultimate art artworks. Um, let's see what we got for this one. There's the code card. Okay. Energy, psychic energy. Okay, the Roma Lady. Rescue Carrier. Scrafty. Philipup. Bagon, Lit Leo, Lotad, Teddy Ursa, Rayhan is the reverse hollow, not a rare, just an uncommon, and, and a G Gigalith. Okay. Well, not bad overall, so we did get two out of four were hollows. I think that's a pretty good pull rate overall. Okay. All right, so not too bad there with that tin. Definitely was a pretty good assortment of the newer packs. And now for the main event, the first edition Gym Challenge Booster Pack. These packs, I believe last time I checked, are selling for above $300 a pack. So this is a little bit nerve-wracking nerve opening this, but uh, happy to do it for you guys and see what we can get. So let's take a look here. Okay, now, I believe the card trick for this is four cards, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna go with that. Four cards from the back, and this should be the energy. Okay, we got a lightning energy. All right, so we'll do Giovanni's Meowth. Very cool looking card. Okay, next up we have Brock Scrabbler. Another very cool looking card. The artwork in this set is just phenomenal, in my opinion along with Gym Challenge. Next we have Koga's Ninja Trick. So those were the three uncommon cards in the pack. Okay, first common is Lieutenant Surge's Radita. Very cool. Next we have Sabrina's Psyduck. Definitely remember that from the earlier days. We have Blaine's Rhyhorn. 
another popular one from this set. Misty Psyduck. Very cool. Koga's Tangela. I think we might be getting close to the rare here. Okay, we have one more common. And it's Giovanni's Magikarp. Okay, next poll is potentially the rare or the hollow. I'll go as slow as I can here. It's a water. And, oh, a Sabrina's Gold Duck. Okay, so not a hollow, but definitely a cool looking rare. Uh, centering looks pretty good. A little bit off left to right. But the back is pretty good looking overall. All right, well, very cool. Definitely not, uh, not a hollow, but still a cool looking card and it's the risk that we take doing this. But hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, definitely be on the lookout for new videos coming from me. Um, please also be sure to hit that subscribe button uh, to help this channel grow and to continue to uh, allow me to post videos such as this. Thanks guys.